Hello car lovers. Today I'm gonna to wash my car in a confined space. I'm gonna show you how to do that. A lot of us don't have access to big garages. Sometimes it's snow outside and we can't wash our cars outside. This is a two car garage. I have a neighbor. The neighbor's right there with his big Ford Explorer. His truck is awesome. However, it makes washing the car a little bit tricky. I'm gonna go over it with you. But first, let's go over the car. It's my Acura TLX 2017. I'm going to be buying it and I'll be making a video on that purchase uh, soon. I've leased it for four years and I'm buying it out. I like, this, I like this car. So I have to take care of it, just like any other car you have to take care of. I brought here two buckets. I brought here my uh, drying bucket. I filled it up with a little bit of hot water. And my wash bucket, I filled it up with a little bit of hot water. Why hot water? Because the water coming out of the hose is super cold during the winter. So to be comfortable, I make the, the water tepid, a tepid temperature, all right? So that much is done. So what I'm gonna do, same thing, I'm gonna go get that hose over there, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna rinse off the car well. During the winter, of course, you always wanna rinse as much as possible because of the road salt and the grime, it accumulates and it sticks to the car, getting it wet and then spraying it off, like once it's all wet, really helps remove most of the salt and will prevent swirls and scratches from getting into your car. And of course, I'll top off with the wheels at the end, and that is it. Here, what I'll do is I'll begin, I'll take it off its stand and unwind it as I walk along, not to rub the neighbor's car. You're going to want to use a liberal amount of water on washing over the vehicle. Liberal meaning a lot. So that way you let the water soak in to the salt and the grime. Don't forget, water is a natural lubricant. That's why we're using it so much. In back, it's often a problematic area for those of you who live above the snow line. You've got to spray it down a few times, try to get rid of the most of that road salt. Sometimes when you're stuck, you're going to go open that garage door just to get around in those difficult places. All right, quickly. I'm gonna put it on a higher pressure setting. In this case, it's flat to remove the worst. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill up my buckets with water now. Of course, you have to put in soap first. An important thing when you're washing a car, especially a dirty one, but in all times, I always have a lot of uh, car wash solution in my mitt when I'm washing my car, that allows you to scrub in the least swirls and scratches. When you're washing your car, the high level wash is really an exercise in not damaging the paint. That's really what it is. And in fact, a car soap is really way over 50% uh, lubricant and less than 50% washing solution. It's really designed to lubricate as much as possible. And it's the same thing with the regular car wash. You start with the top, you let the suds drip along the sides, and you work your way down. And you have to be extra careful to rinse your mitt often. You see what I'm doing here? No pressure. It's the weight of the mitt. Don't forget your mitt has two sides so you can turn it over. You'll notice 
I'm not pressing on the mitt. So normally you're going to drag around your wash bucket because here on the sides it's really dirty and instead of being lazy and not going to, to rinse your, your wash mitt, you'll have it close by and you'll be more tempted to do a good job. You'll notice, because I am a professional detailer, for crying out loud, I do little pro tricks, right? So when I'm walking with this mitt full of water, I let it always drip on the car, right? Because I always want this stuff to be lubricating everything. I can't film the rear end, there's no room for the camera here, unfortunately. You're just going to have to take my word for it. You have to go very easily in the back, because that's where the, ma the majority of the grime is. You'll notice that I'm taking my time. I'm not going quickly. I'm rubbing very softly. I'm not sweating. I'm not out of breath. There's a reason for that. Here in close quarters, there's a good chance for you to knock things down, put a scratch in the car, uh, or worse yet, knock or put a dent or put a scratch in the neighbor's car. So you go very slowly, very deliberately. You take your time. If it takes five, 10 minutes more, who cares? Now that I'm done washing, I won't rinse it right away. I'm going to attack the wheels right away because there's no real danger of this car drying up and having uh, soap spots because it's so humid in here now that I've washed the car. What I'm going to do is I'm going to clean those wheels really fast. Take your f favorite tire cleaner, same thing in summer as it is in winter, spray it on your wheels, let it set a bit, clean it, and then rinse it. You'll notice I have a green mitten for washing my wheels. I don't wash my wheels with the same mitten as I wash my car. As you can see, this is a tight one. Be careful for your neighbor, all right, in these situations. Your neighbor's truck is more important than yours. So now the rinsing stage, we're gonna rinse it off like we would normally. And of course, always being careful for the neighbor. As you can see, I opened the garage door. It's freezing outside. I think the reasons are evident. Now I'm going to close that door because it is getting cold. Nice and easy. Always remember, watch your neighbor. So that's how you wash a car. Of course, now what's left is to dry it off 
And then of course, I use a little bit of uh, detailing mist when drying my car because it leaves a little protection and especially in winter, that's what's necessary. And washing it this way, you really shouldn't have any problems with swirls and scratches. In fact, I skipped a year with this vehicle. I didn't polish it one spring. Usually I polish, I do a very light polish every spring. I didn't even have to do that one spring. It was so well done. So those are my tips for washing a car on the inside. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll be doing more of these uh, stuck in the garage clean, car cleaning videos just to show you how to wash your car in tight spaces. And that is it.